Don't worry, we're going to build that wall. That wall will go up. A total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Donald Trump raised the temperature with the kind of rhetoric seldom seen in an election campaign. But was it red meat for those on the far right fringes of American politics? Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! Cheers, applause and Nazi salutes. The so-called alt-right movement of neo-Nazis and white supremacists has been emboldened by the rise of Donald Trump, though he has condemned them. Among its most prominent exponents is Matthew Heimbach. And this is our symbol and our flag. Amen! I don't think that Donald Trump's election has led to the rise of the alt-right. I think the rise of the alt-right led to Donald Trump's election. We traveled to Indianapolis to meet him and members of the party he chairs. It has only a few hundred members, but he is now one of the poster boys of the wider, growing, mostly online phenomenon. He was banned from entering the UK for views like these. There already are homelands for people of the, you know, the Muslim faith and of Arab heritage. So I would encourage them to be able to go home to their own nations where we can work in peace and prosperity. Hundreds of his supporters laud him as charismatic. But are these just old fashioned, ugly, neo-Nazi views with a new face? What do you say to those people who say your views are repugnant and completely disgusting? These ideas we've shown with the election of Donald Trump, with the election when it comes to Brexit, when it comes to the winds of nationalists and populists throughout all of Europe, that average everyday people, when given the choice of the privacy of the voting booth, they choose nationalism. Get out! Matthew Heimbach is best known for this moment at a Trump rally. Seen here in the red cap, he admitted pushing a black woman. It's time to start pushing back. You really were pushing back there. Do you not regret that at all? Not at all. So to what extent should America and the world be concerned by this movement? This is a, basically a new term for something that existed before and we should call neo-fascism. And, and this is what it is. Now, how this neo-fascism relates to the populist campaign of Trump, that is the key question. And I, I, and I think it relates a lot. This is a moment of resurgence. They feel that their arguments are reloaded as they were first loaded in the 1930s, uh, I mean with fascism. And, uh, and this, then this is a matter of preoccupation for those of us who are more on the side of democracy, I would say. It's been a big increase in the numbers of hate crime reports in the last month. Are you denying that that's happened? I think that's a response to the crimes we have seen. Do you, do you actually condemn them? Well, of course I condemn any sort of crime. As Matthew Heimbach and others like him continue to grow in prominence, their hugely contentious views are finding some support. Julian Drucker, Five News, Indianapolis.